Hello and welcome to a Twisted Tools demo video for Colorflex. This is the using the MIDI note sequencer video and in this video I'll answer the questions how do I draw MIDI notes and change the colored zone areas and what are the cell modes. Colorflex's MIDI note sequencer is used to route MIDI notes to devices that respond to them such as synthesizers, samplers, and effects. To write notes, select the MIDI note sequencer page by clicking the MIDI note label. This gives you a 256 cell matrix where you can activate cells that generate node events. Let's look at the red zone area to gain a better understanding of how things work. We will use the Colorflex example instance and preset number 21. First, I'll set the show mode to current zone and solo the track, which will make it easier to see what's going on. Let's start by drawing some cells. If you look at the edit menu, you'll notice it's set to zones. This is useful if you want to adjust the length of the zone area like so. However, if you want to draw in cells quickly, you probably want to change the edit mode to cells. In either mode, you could control click to change the square size of the cell, which by default will affect velocity. Next, let's look at the cell modes. Three cell modes determine the overall note behavior rules of the cell matrix. This preset is set to trigger rows mode. In this mode, all notes in a row trigger the same note, and each row above it will be a half step higher, like a traditional piano roll editor. The first row's note number is set in the parameter section for the red zone area by changing the parameter called note number. For example, listen to what happens if I stretch the zone area across the first two rows. Okay, let's take a look at another cell mode, the trigger cell mode. In trigger mode, all active cells will always produce the note number set in the zone parameters section. This is useful if you're trying to trigger a single drum sample for each color. Lastly, let's look at melodic rows. In melodic rows mode, notes will increase chromatically beginning from the lower left corner cell unless a scale is set, in which case notes will snap to the scale. Let's turn scale snapping off for this example. Notice that in melodic rows mode, you have a min note and a max note setting. The min note is the lower left corner cell note number, and the max note is the maximum note number that will be reached before the order of the notes repeats starting back with the minimum note. If I set the min note to 60 and the max to 72, we will have an octave if I set the zone area to be 12 steps long. At the 13th step, the note order will restart back at note number 60 and wrap up to the next row to continue until it reaches note number 72. Setting your zone area vertically, you'll also get some interesting results. If you are interested in learning more about the zone parameter settings for each mode, please see the video entitled Zone Parameters.